There's something I'd like to discuss with you. Would you mind if I joined you for lunch? Let's discuss that elsewhere. What say we head to the roof? It's starting to get rather cold, isn't it? Sorry to bring you here. This is something I oughtn't really bring up around other people. Senpai... Are you still planning to continue on as the Phantom Thieves? Lately, I haven't been hearing any positive gossip about the Phantom Thieves. Despite how much people cheered on your cause, even though they knew nothing about you or your friends, all they do now is speak ill of the Phantom Thieves. I know it's not my place to say this, considering I turned down your offer to join and all. But this change in attitude is simply awful. They're doing the exact same thing to you all that they did to me. Yet, you're still going to keep at it? Why, senpai? Unfinished business. So, there's something left you have to do. Yeah. But don't worry about us. There isn't even a one in a million chance that my Phantom Thieves could ever lose. I see. Well, I won't stop you. However, could I ask a favor? Or rather, could you promise me something? Once things settle down, I'd like you to join me somewhere so we can go have some fun together. I'm already beginning to look forward to it. So, please be careful out there. Oh, but I plan to keep my other promise I made with you about the physical training. Tomorrow. Is that too sudden? Maybe we should train the day after tomorrow then? Uh, but that day's when... Mm. I see. Mm. Come on, senpai. You need to eat, too. No one wins a fight on an empty stomach, you know. Uh, not like that. It's okay, though. Just aim for the arm your enemy's holding his gun with. That's it! I've got nothing left to teach you. You're an elite player now. It's because you worked so hard. I didn't really do that much. Actually, yeah, I did. <laughs> Have you noticed that my playing style has changed? I feel calmer when I'm under pressure now. I wonder if it's because I'm not so obsessed with winning anymore. Hey, I invited some people here today. They should be arriving any minute now. Oh, here they are. So what did you want to talk to us about? I'm sorry. I finally realized that I was being selfish. Please forgive me. I'll understand if you guys don't, but I promise I'll pay back the money as soon as I save up enough. Well, what do you want to do? Uh, that's all I wanted to say. Thanks for coming. Let's go. Wait! I'm not very good at gun about. Will you teach me how to get better? Huh? Then... Sorry, kids. I don't mean to interrupt. Hey, it's the pro gamer! It's been a while, hasn't it, kid? You wanna play a game? I haven't faced any worthy opponents lately. I've gotten better since we last played, you know. Now I can stay calm during a battle. I'm gonna blast right through that pitch-black armor of yours. So then, 
You believe the rumor that's being told about me, eh? Well, a full display of my skills should put an end to that lie. What the hell? I, I can't even shoot! Take that! Don't aim for the body, and that! Yeah, this is BS! Whoa, the champ can't even get off a shot! Takikuma's about to lose! The king's going to win! What? I lost? Stop using that armor and start playing fair and square. It's unacceptable to break the rules just to win, whether you're an adult or a child. And if you don't stop, I'll tell everyone. No! I won't admit defeat! I just can't! It'll be the end of... everything! No, it won't. Your life will go on even after you lose. But if you don't change now, then it might really be the end for you. And then no one will be able to help you. I don't want you to go through that. <sighs> well said, for a kid. I'm not going to enter the tournament. See ya. That was totally insane, dude! You beat a professional gamer! The king's the new champ! No, I'm not. I haven't won the tournament yet. Besides, it's thanks to you guys that I was able to get stronger. Everyone's gone home. We should get going, too. I'm so happy right now. Yeah, I think we'll get along fine from now on. I've always thought that winning was the coolest thing, but being nice is pretty cool, too. Losing wasn't the end. It was just a new beginning. Through all the pain, and with your help, I was able to change. Now it's my turn to help others. My mom, my friends, even people I don't know. I wonder... Will that help me become a member of the Phantom Thieves? That's why I'm asking you. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. Ugh. Well, this is the last time we'll play together. There's nothing left to teach you, and the Phantom Thieves seem to be having a rough time. Thank you for hanging out with a lonely kid like myself. I'll continue to do my best. Okay, put out your hand. Good luck. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Thy bond shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the tower, granting thee infinite power. You'll still never be able to beat me. You won't lose anyone else, though. <laughs> I'll be supporting you no matter what. Later.
Ah. Good morning. I know this is last minute, but if it's possible, could you come and see me during lunch today? Glad to hear it. I wanted to discuss something with you, since it'll be our last chance to do so here. Yes, my time here at Shujin is coming to an end today. It's quite the sad affair. I do have a farewell speech to give the school at morning assembly, but I'd also like to speak with you individually. Considering the occasion, lunch is on me. I'll have something special waiting for you, so you look forward to that. Well, I'll see you later. Dr. Mark, he's really leaving. It's already been half a year, huh? That sure went by fast. And finally, we would like Dr. Maraki to share a few last words with the student body. Well, Doctor, if you will. <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. As the Vice Principal has mentioned, today marks the end of my tenure at Shujin Academy. Over the past several months, I have come to learn about all sorts of conflicts that you students have faced this year. Troubles with romance, with studies... In fact, some of you have financial issues that are awfully similar to my own. <laughs> but before I leave here, I want to offer you a final piece of counseling. If your situation ever becomes too painful to endure, remember, it's okay for you to escape your problem. I don't want a single one of you to think that an unfair reality you've been forced into is the only one that you have to live. It's okay. What, are you um, what I'm trying to say is, even if your life is full of worries, it's best for you not to obsess over them. Your existence in this world is an amazing miracle. You deserve to spend your days in happiness. I'll keep on rooting for all of you to have the best lives possible, even after I'm long gone. Ow. <laughs> I guess things don't always pan out like you expect. Well, that's it. Thank you for having me here this year. Good luck to you all. Dr. Maruki! Dr. Maruki! Dr. Maruki! I wanted to thank him personally, but it may be best to hold off on that for a bit. Mm-hmm. I doubt we could get a word in edgewise anyhow. Thank you for coming here. Since this is about to be my last meal at Shujin, I've brought the best lunch ever. These tempura bowls are from a restaurant I've been curious about since I first came to the school. I'd always passed on it due to the price, but today is special. Not only that, I ordered the deluxe bowls for us. I should be the one thanking you. All right, let's eat. This aroma's really triggered my appetite. Too bad I can't see anything now. I'm so glad I splurged on that. Upscale dishes like that really do taste incredible. I wish I could just get lost in this bliss forever. Well, now that we've finished our food, let's get down to business. First off, I have quite big news. My paper's done. I've mentioned this before, but still, this is truly thanks to you. Had you not shared your experience and insights with me, this paper never would have been completed. Please, 
Allow me to express my gratitude to you once more as a most helpful student of Shujin. And as a phantom thief as well. There's no need to be obtuse. Why don't you take a look at the title of my paper over there? You know, the Phantom Thieves' act of changing hearts is rather reminiscent of cognitive science in practice. They infiltrate a reality that exists solely for their target, a reality wholly separated from the one that the public recognizes. By accessing that world, they gain the means of permanently altering their target's cognition. That is what I hypothesize as being the change of heart you induce in your targets. Well, I did pour my heart and soul into this research for a number of years. To be entirely honest, it was all the way back in April, when I first came to speak with the principal here about providing counseling to you students. I actually witnessed the moment when you came out of an individual's reality like I'd mentioned. You suddenly appeared in the back alley near the school. I believe Sakamoto-kun and Takamaki-san were with you? Takamaki-san appeared to be extremely exhausted. Thanks. It wasn't long after that scene that Mr. Kamoshida had his change of heart. Beyond what I witnessed, I had also been told that you three were closely affiliated with Mr. Kamoshida in some way. At that point, I was already half convinced that you were involved. I was almost certain Mr. Kamoshida's change of heart was provoked by the three of you. Hmm. Well, I've been researching cognitive science ever since I was a grad student. For years, I've been attempting to directly interact with an individual's cognition so I can help address their pain and despair. But, for certain reasons, this research has never been acknowledged in academia. Despite that, I continually pursued evidence that my hypothesis is correct. It was during that time I happened to come across the Phantom Thieves of Hearts fresh from a mission. My heart began to dance. I thought to myself, maybe I could complete my research if I were to have your assistance. That's why I approached you and your group of friends in the first place. I hadn't mentioned any of this until now because, well, I didn't want you to take it the wrong way and suspect my motives. But I think that's everything I'd kept from you. Does that change your opinion of me? A deal, eh? Well, I'm awfully grateful you see it that way. And just so you know, I have no intention of telling anyone about this. If you don't believe what I'm saying, you're free to change my heart as you like. Thanks to you, I finally know what I need to do. I'm going to stand up to our current reality. I swear I'll use my research to make our world a better place. Though, it'll likely be through different means than how the Phantom Thieves reform members of society. Indeed, you have a strong moral compass, never losing sight of your own definition of justice. I'm more grateful than ever to have met a young man like yourself. Although it's not like this is the last time we'll see one another, still, thank you for everything up to this point. shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened the ultimate secret of the Counselor, granting thee infinite power.
All right. All right. I'm going to follow the path that I believe in. I sincerely hope that one day, at the end of that path, I'll be able to aid you as well. Even if you just considered it to be meddling in your affairs. Whoops. Looks like we're out of time. We'll meet again though, right? That's right. Hey! No, it's nothing. Best of luck to the both of us. See you around. <laughs> Boss said he reserved the place just for us. We're free to drink as much coffee as we want. Ain't this place always empty, though? Everyone here is a witness. Uh, uh, I, I was just joking. Um, we're supposed to be discussing where we should send the calling card. Considering how big the hype's gotten, she'll probably just think it's a prank, won't she? I could always put it on Sai San's desk. People know me there, so I could gain access easily. That's not a good idea. If you're the only one who can get in there, it'll be easily traced back to you. I'll do it. I can just tell her it came for her in the mail. That would be the least risky method, no matter what she asks. I'll tell her I don't know anything. But Makoto, that's... You're our leader, so this will be up to you. Should we leave the calling card to Makoto? Is that really the only way? I'll be okay. I've already traversed far more dangerous ground than this. We will leave it to you then. Thank you for agreeing to this. I will need to step up my game as well to make up for it. Very well then. We'll enter from in front of the courthouse. Does six o'clock in the evening work for everyone? Yep, got it. Same as always. Well then, let's get ready for tomorrow. Dismissed. Okay. Anyway. Madame Sae Nijima, a great sinner of jealousy. You have lost yourself amidst your obsession with success. For its sake, you are even willing to promote injustice as justice. From the Phantom Thieves. I found it in our mailbox. To think they would send me one. They brand me a criminal and plan to change my heart? What nonsense. They only care about disposing of those who are an inconvenience for them. Fine. I'll just have to catch them first. And when you do, you're going to interrogate them, right? In some kind of underground room, was it? Why do you ask? Uh, oh, I just remembered you mentioning something like that before. That's right. It will be in a special interrogation room underground. My time will be limited, but I will do whatever it takes to make them divulge their secrets. Do this fair and square. I should probably be getting back. It's late, but I should contact the director and let him know about this calling card. I expect things will calm down a little once this case is over. Once that happens, why don't we go on a trip to some hot springs? Just the two of us. Sis. <gasps> I'm on your side. I won't let anyone do anything to you. <laughs> <laughs> what an odd girl. 
Do you need to make a call? I'll head up to my room then. I'm sorry for calling so late. This is Nijima. There's something I need to inform you of. I received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. It was addressed to me directly and... Stand by? And you've transferred command of the investigation to someone else? No, of course not! Yes. I understand. I'll remain on standby until further instructions. Please excuse me. Okay. We can't afford any mistakes, especially not this time. Tomorrow's a big day for us, so let's give it our all. <laughs> 